Hey everyone, I have a not very exciting video for you today, um, but I'm gonna show you how to floss, okay? Now, we tell people to floss all the time. People think, why Why does this work? Why It's a piece of string, you're putting it between your teeth. It does work. Because for the people that do it, which is like 10% of the population, they don't have nearly as many gum problems. Some people get away with not flossing when they're younger. I often will see a lot of people in their early 20s who don't floss, and then they get a lot of cavities in their early 20s with the lifestyle changes, moving out of your parents' house, drinking alcohol, coffee, energy drinks, and not flossing. And then around age 30 on average, now these are averages, if you're younger than that, you could be, I have teenagers with gum problems. I have some people with good genetics, they might get to 40 without flossing, without having gum problems. But around age 30 on average, the same plaque you had in your back, to, in your mouth, when you're younger, the gums start to break down. This will never hurt. Your gum disease is not something you'll feel. You might get bad breath, your gums might bleed. If you see bleeding gums, well, you probably have gum disease and you should have taken care of it a long time ago. Now I'm making this video because in the past, we tell people to floss. It's always been tried hard to explain to someone actually how to do it. Now that where to go with the teeth. Like if I show you in your mouth, like our hygienist does, uh, is good, it shows you how you have to get up into the gum, how we're not gonna saw back and forth, but we're gonna make a C-shape round teeth. And there, I noticed there are several videos on YouTube showing it on a model. But then the person gets home and it is hard to figure out how to make these things go in there and do it properly. And when you've done it long enough, it just becomes second nature. And that's why I always had trouble kind of trying to teach people how to do it, because I've been doing it for so long um, that it, I don't, my fingers just do it. And so it's always hard, and there are kind of different parts of your mouth that uh, you need to move your hands in different ways. So I kind of thought about it and watched what I did, because I didn't know, my hands just did it. So I went and looked, and now I'm gonna show you in my mouth. So we're gonna get close and get close and personal here, and we're gonna talk about how to actually do this. So when you actually say, all right, I'm gonna floss, I've read this is good for me, it'll make me live longer and be healthier and all this stuff, just a piece of string. Um, that I actually can do it and don't feel like I'm just a clumsy idiot who doesn't know how to floss. Most people don't. So let me show you what I, how I do it. Now there are, you know, textbook ways, whatnot, I don't know, okay? This is what I do and it's how, what I teach now, since now I'm teaching it. But anyway, also while we're at it, this is the floss. I like this Reach Dental Tape. If you buy this, which you very hard to find in the stores because people do not like this. It is thick, okay? Most people use either the thinnest floss they can get because they're not good at it, so they just want to slide in and out real easily, or they'll use the ones with the handles. The ones with the handles are okay. We don't dislike the ones with the handles. It makes some people floss who would never floss otherwise, including my wife. I'm looking at you, Stephanie. Um, and, but it's, it's, you cannot get as deep into the gum. You can't curve it around the teeth as much. It's hard to get in the back. So they're okay, okay? But using regular floss and this thicker floss. So I tell everyone, everyone in my practice who gets has gum disease is one of the things we give them is this thicker floss. Now, um, every time you start using this thicker floss at first, you're gonna dislike it even more because it's gonna feel like your teeth are too tight or your hands are too big and you can't get in between your teeth. Everyone thinks that way because it is thicker and it is tight. But after you use it for several months, and this little thing here will probably take you three, four months to go through if you're using it once a day, um, you'll probably learn to like it. A lot of my patients do. And also, let's say you run this out, grab, run out of this, and you grab some other floss. Um, you go in there, and you're like, oh, this feels like it's it's doing nothing because the thicker floss, what it does is it just exercises and grabs and stimulates the gums more. It grabs more plaque and it just works better. So if we're looking to floss, you can start maybe if you want it with the easier one, but I would say just go for a hard one. You're gonna be, it's gonna be struggle anyway, and then you're gonna do yourself a lot of benefit. Um, hard to find, like I said, because I'm probably not a big seller because people don't like the thicker floss, uh, but you can find it on Amazon, it's like $4, something like that, it'll last you, you know, whatever, like I said, three or four months. So let's get started. So I'm gonna pull this, bad boy out oh you gotta be kidding me did i let's see oh it's tangled so this will happen at times after i do this whole awesome video it's gonna get tangled on me isn't it all right let's see hold on hold on i'm not gonna edit because i don't want to do this video again all right here we go we got a piece of floss about 18 inches or so wobbling the camera here hold on so i wrap it around my middle fingers okay like this see this so we're gonna get real close so you can see. Some people wrap around their pointer fingers, I like here, okay? So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna start on my top thing. Now some people, there's two ways of doing this. Some people take two thumbs, and now the whole point of flossing, the whole technique is pivoting 
on one finger. On the top, it's usually the thumb. On the bottom, it's going to point your finger. We'll get to that, okay? So you can, I like to use this. So watch, I'm going to go first. This is something that people always mix, miss. You want to go to the back of the top tooth. So not in between the last two teeth, but you want to start all the way in the back. Very common place for gums, uh, to, gum disease to start forming. So I'm going to go all the way out here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hard. Now look, that's the finger. See how it's hitting? You'll see closer. There we go. So let's stop for a second. See what I'm doing? This thumb is not moving. I'm using it as a pivot point to move it around with one of these two fingers. Now I'm gonna switch here. And now to get that back one, it's real hard, so I'm gonna get my other thumb here. And that's it. So let's slow down there for a second, look at the front teeth so we can see a little better. So you're gonna get up in the front tooth and you're not, again, not sawing back and forth. You're not also going in and out. So it's with those false picks in particular, people will do this. Don't do that, in fact, that hurt when I did that. You wanna get in. Uh, 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 uh. Did you see that? I went up to one side and then to the other. Kind of like a circle, again, pivot point. See that my thumb? Moving around there. But even when I use two thumbs, it's still pivoting on there. All right, let's go to the bottom. Bottom, this is a little trickier. Okay, we're using wraps, the same same finger, still wrap around middle fingers, but I'm gonna use these guys. See that, so let's there. So again, using a pivot point on these two fingers to move in between. And now you're here, I can't move my hand there, so I do. I switch to the thumb, I wrap, so yeah, let's try that again. See here? And I take it out, and I switch to the thumb. Again, see that? Pivot point. Now, some people ask, do I have to uh, use a different part of the string for each part of the tooth? No, I mean, yes, technically, you know, if I see a big chunk of food or plaque on there, I will not use that part and I'll wipe it clean, put it under water, or switch it more common, just move it a little hair over. Um, so you can, it's not a bad idea, but it's not something I think about every spot and use a different place on the floss. Uh-huh. So again, so I kind of move my hand there. And now again, still using that pivot point. and behind the last tooth. So that's what we're doing. So in real fast time, let's do it again. You can slow this down, watch it in real time. It's really exciting. Ah, 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 ah. Switch the thumb. Ah, 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 ah. Switch it back to the winter. Wow, wow. Now some people, I think will do is, I don't know what some people do, this is what I do. So that's what it's all about, okay? So watch that again, so you're using a thumb for a thing, for a pivot on the bottom, here, back to the thumb, back to over there. Let's see you floss, save, you'll probably live longer, throw that away, don't keep that. That's it. <laughs>